Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the vlog. Um, I just got done with work and I am going to head to the grocery store. I'm gonna show you guys how I plan because lately I've been really, 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 really slacking on meal planning. And if I don't plan, like my schedule is so hectic that I just end up like picking up food or whatever and it's been bad. So I planned out some meals for this week. I'll show you how I do that too because I'm kind of OCD about it. I don't like to waste time in the grocery store um, and I like to like know exactly what I'm getting so I don't waste food because I can also be really bad at that. So um, I think tonight we're gonna do chicken lettuce wraps and I will show you guys how I make them because they are delicious. But first we gotta go to the grocery store. So basically I just kind of break everything down. So I have like the meals that I want to make and then I break it down into like categories of where it's at in the grocery store. Um, so I do all of the produce, pantry, deli, and then frozen. So like I started with like lettuce wraps and then I write down everything that I need to make that meal and then I move on to the next one. So I feel like it just saves a lot of time in the grocery store. Every time. That I see your face, it always makes me smile oh, oh. And every time that I drive to you, it's always worth my while oh, oh. So let me sing for you so I am going to leave the full recipe down in the description box, but I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick little run through of what I recorded. So I chopped all my veggies. I had an onion, mushrooms, and then some carrots. And then I went ahead and pickled my jalapenos. You guys, if you are a baby like me, I don't do spicy food, but pickling them makes a world of difference. Like it takes the heat out and they're so delicious. So this is my worst nightmare showing raw chicken, but I am just throwing that into a pan with some hot olive oil, adding salt and pepper, and then I'm throwing in my onions, ginger, and garlic once it's pretty well cooked through. And then I'm also adding in the carrots and mushrooms. And you can kind of add in any veggies that you want. I've also added in zucchini before and it was really delicious. So I just added in all the veggies and I'm gonna cook that until they are nice and soft. Now that the veggies are cooked through, I'm adding just a little dash of fish sauce. You guys, I grew up Filipino. Like I love fish sauce and you would be surprised how delicious it tastes in food. And then I'm also adding in a little bit of sesame oil. I feel like this really gives it that like P.F. Chang's taste, but use it sparingly because sesame oil is very, very strong. <laughs> Next, I am doing a pretty generous drizzle of oyster sauce. This just gives it like that beautiful, like richer color and flavor. It doesn't really taste like oyster. I feel like it just like deepens all of the flavors that you already have going on. So just try it out. I promise it's delicious. And then I'm just going to let that cook down and simmer so that all of those flavors can come together. And in a separate pot, I am doing um, a little bit of garlic and some olive oil. And then I'm literally just gonna throw in some green beans and just a tiny bit of water. And then I'll add the lid on it and just kind of steam them up. And I do love getting almost like a golden garlic with these green beans. So I just throw these in, add a little bit of water in the lid so they kind of steam. And I cook these until they still have a little bit of crunch. We like a crunchy green bean around here. Now that our chicken mixture is nicely cooked together and a little bit more caramelized, I'm adding in some green onions. I add quite a bit of green onions and then I also added in a little container. It comes in like a little can of the water chestnuts. I just chopped those up and added those in. You don't want to put those in early because they'll just become mush. So always wait to put those in at the very last moment before you start plating. And speaking of plating, I just scoop the mixture into these little romaine hearts and then add my pickled jalapenos and I actually added a few carrots in there as well and then topped it with even more scallions and you guys, this is such a light meal and it's so quick and easy. Thank you. 
Can I do a iced maple brown sugar latte? Yeah, of course. And a nut butter toast with strawberries? Okay. You want almond butter on that? Yes, please. Okay. And that's it. Perfect, 1188 at the window. Awesome, thanks. Bye. 1188. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Good morning, friends. Clearly, I did not wash my hair last night. It's like a pound of dry shampoo in here. But you know what? I'm just planning for the weekend. <laughs> I don't want to have to wash my hair this weekend. So that is the level that we are at right now with the hair. I just got downtown where my office is, and I'm going to try and shoot this hoodie. Much different than the look yesterday from Revolve. Very chill. Also, this is what I look like walking down the street. <laughs> and it is beautiful. I'm so ready for fall weather. Like, it just feels great. There's like a little chill in the air, and I'm obsessed. So, time to get this picture in before we start a busy work day. Okay, just got in the office. That was a whole ordeal. <laughs> I tried like shooting my picture in the parking garage that's really it's like literally around the corner from my office and there were so many people coming to work at the same time so it was like so busy and then people kept staring at me and it made me very uncomfortable <laughs> so i walked like three blocks down and then i was like standing there trying to take a picture and there was an old lady watching me so um yeah taking pictures is always interesting but i'm going to show you guys this uh revolve outfit really quick before i start work have a busy day and we get the kids tonight i'm so excited um so they're on like a split schedule for starting school so because they have the last name w like they don't start till next week it's very interesting so here's our revolve look for the day it's super just like laid back and easy perfect for me i love this so much so this sweatshirt is from Superdown. I know Revolve is generally like really pricey. Superdown is one of the more like affordable brands that I would say it's the most affordable brand that Revolve carries. And I would also say that this is like very oversized. It's supposed to be like a little oversized, but like it's really big on my arms. But I'm only five foot tall too. So I'm wearing a small in this. I know that it also has like matching it's either shorts or sweatpants, but they just didn't have them in my size. So small in the sweatshirt. Um, the shorts are my favorite, a Goldie shorts. They're the Jaden, so I'll link those as well. And then my shoes are also from Revolve. They are just good old Air Force ones. So super simple, really easy and comfy, and kind of perfect for the weather that we're having today. Okay, we're home. Drew's out on the grill. The kids are out playing. I'm going to make the cocktail that I have it on my Instagram stories highlight. But I'm going to show you guys for our like little taco night. We're doing fajita quesadillas. I'll show you in a second. Um, but this is so good. I ended up remaking it because I had it in Nashville. And it's delicious. Perfect like little summery drink or like taco Tuesday. It's Wednesday, but same. So let me sing for you Like a bird in the mountains do These are done. These are mine and Drew's. We got steak, chicken, and shrimp with fajita peppers in here. And these are the kids. The girls are doing chicken. Now it's doing steak. Got guacamole, salsa, chips from our favorite place, and cocktails. <laughs> good morning um i feel like i'm always doing my check-ins when i get to work because our evenings are just so crazy um last night we got the kids and the dinner was phenomenal i feel like i didn't show you guys all of it but it was so good those quesadillas were so good um and then it's just like 
busy parent life. Like if you are a parent, you know that. It was like dinner, baths, brush teeth, like try and get some snuggles in before bed and then do it all over again. And they're like on their schedule for school, but they're not going yet. So they're like going to their daycare, but it was like pack lunches last night and all that stuff. So nothing super exciting, um, but I did wash my hair, which is actually very exciting. Um, I feel like a new human and I use the, um, what is it called? The way like thick hair shampoo and you guys, it is so good. Like my hair feels so clean and smells like a spa and that conditioner is like so luxurious. It's so thick and um, I kind of section my hair whenever I washed it last night because I have the extensions. So I like kind of sectioned everywhere I had extensions and like really scrubbed where the beads are and stuff. And then I like washed all of the ends together. Um, so if you have extensions, maybe that is a great way to do it. I feel like it just like made my hair feel cleaner, especially having those extensions and then like only washing my hair once a week. <laughs> I feel like you need to like really get in there. But I wanted to show you guys this lip combo because I love it. I did no foundation today and just like concealer and bronzer and all of that stuff, just skipped foundation. And then did this lip combo and I just think it's a, such a fresh look. And guys, this lip balm. People that know me know I will always, always have lip balm, always. Um, and this one is from e.l.f. This is the Ride or Die lip balm. These are new too. Um, it came in the same package as that blush, which I also, have on today that I showed you guys the other night. But this is um, a ride or die in, what color are you? Boss Berry. It feels so good on your lips. And this one has a little bit of a tint to it that just like kind of gives you that bitten, like juicy lip look. And I just am obsessed with it. It comes in a few different colors. So I'm gonna try the other ones too. But I also just did like a really light line with Bumble from ColourPop. So this little lip combo, I'm kind of like loving this. I'm not gonna lie, love it. Um, so today I have another super busy day at work. I feel like that's just what I say every single day. Um, and then I don't think we have anything tonight. Literally just trying to spend time with the kids. Um, it's their weekend with their dad. So we will try and do something fun after work. Yeah. Time out, let me pause. <laughs> New girl. Boop, okay. So I just got done filming this look. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. So I feel like this will be up before this vlog will. So I will link it down below if you haven't watched it already. Um, it is now Saturday. Drew is at a golf tournament. Shocker. Um, I didn't film yesterday. I don't know. I just feel like most of my vlogs during the week are just me going to work. Literally going to work, like showing you what I'm wearing and then that's it like the same thing every day and I don't want it to be that way I want it to be like interesting stuff for you guys to watch um so I didn't film yesterday and then I had such an exhausting week like exhausting um and I pulled a hamstring yesterday so I was not feeling great when I got home and we literally did nothing and it was so nice like it sounds so lame to do nothing on a Friday night but it was so so nice um so I got up this morning I've just been doing stuff around the house because like I said, I'm so busy during the week. I don't really get time to. So um, I've literally been doing like laundry and cleaning up, getting the house kind of back in order. Um, and Drew is at his golf tournament. He should be home pretty soon. But I just kind of took the time to take it slow. Like I didn't wake up at 4.30 this morning. <laughs> um, and I went and got coffee, cleaned the house. Um, and then I filmed this look. So it was fun. I love getting to like film again. And you guys, Patrick Ta just killing it. I'm obsessed. Um, so yeah, hopefully when he comes back, the plan, the plan is to do date night. So hopefully that's what happens because I need a date night. No, oh, it's not even focusing on you. <laughs> Sunday morning, I didn't like vlog last night. I don't feel like being the person that carries this camera everywhere. And he does not love it. I love it. <laughs> so we're gonna go to brunch and then 
he's leaving me again. For golf, again. I don't want to do that either, so. <laughs> Tell him why you play so much golf. <clears throat> because I get asked to play and I'm not very good at saying no. Exactly. But he's in the top right now, so it's kind of hard to not go. In the top. Right? You're what? Fourth? I'm four back today. Four back. Probably like eight. Okay. Of? A hundred. So he's going to go play golf. I'm going to take you guys. I think I'm going to go to Home Goods today. Alone. I'm that makes sense. <laughs> But um, do that and then I'll probably be able to do my tutorial edits and have that up for you guys tonight. So by the time you see this, that video will be up and I'll just link it here. I'm but, just buy a couch today. Off to brunch. Well, can I? Without you? You don't let me pick it out. Everything I've ever sent you, you don't like. So yeah, go ahead. I don't want a couch from Facebook Marketplace, babe. It's the, it's the Marketplace. No! No. I don't want something that someone else has farted on. I'm done. Who knows what on? It's, you ever think about that? Yeah, it means a couch has character. That's gross. I don't want that character. Cheers. What you drinking? You love when I vlog. This is great. This is what you get when you don't eat eggs. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Jalapeno burger and fries. Normal people. <laughs> okay, update time. You see my mask hanging. Um, I just pulled up to Home Goods. Drew, we got back from brunch. He left for his golf tournament. I'm gonna go in Home Goods, try and find some gold. I feel like everybody else always finds really awesome things at Home Goods, and I'm just not that person. Never am. Never works. So we'll see. Maybe we'll find something good, and then we're gonna run to Target. Um. I am going to go to our friend's little girl's birthday party. She has her first birthday party and uh, Mark is gonna pick me up and we're gonna go. I know you guys remember Mark. He was in, I think, the first vlog that I ever did. And we always spend Sunday fun day together. So I FaceTimed him at um, brunch because usually he goes with us and he wasn't there. So he's gonna pick me up. We're gonna go to the birthday party and Drew might meet us there afterwards. So yay, hopefully we find something good. Okay, we are back from Target and Home Goods and Pier One and Kirkland's and still no runner. I think I'm just gonna end up ordering one off Amazon. I wanted one to go kind of in this area between our big bar and the counter and like the stove area and I didn't like any of them. So I think I'm just gonna do Amazon. Guys, look at this. I have like two patches going for my soft tan. It looks like I have something wrong with me. I don't, promise. Um, but I'm just going to show you guys what I did get before I grab some lunch. So, new little fall wreath. She's cute. It's from Hearth and Hand. Um, and I also got another, like, entryway rug from Hearth and Hand, too. Um, for those of you that don't know, Drew lived in this house before we were together. So, I'm, like, kind of... The bachelor pad in the house. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. I got Emmy for her birthday, the little baby that we're going to her first birthday. I could have stayed in like the baby aisle, like clothes aisle at Target forever. Oh my gosh. How stinking cute. Okay, probably what I'm most excited about from Target, definitely most excited about, are these PJs. And they are from the brand Something Stars. Stars Above, I have so many PJs from Stars Above and they're so comfy. So it's just like these silky shorts and then like a button up top, which I love pajama sets for people that don't know. I have an obsession with pajama sets. And like I said, I ran into Pier 1 in Kirkland's. Our Pier 1 is actually going like out of business. So they had a lot of stuff on sale. A lot of it was picked over because I never go in there. But um, I did pick up this gorgeous face. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Okay, very like restoration hardware-ish, right? And it was on sale for like 
I want to say, what is that? I'm really bad at math. I think this was like $40. It was gorgeous. And I wanted like a super fluffy pompous grass, but they didn't have that, but they did have this one. It has kind of like a metallic machine, but I still think it's really, really pretty. And I'll just like mix it in with the pompous grass that I already have. I need to do turn my lighting a little bit. Guys, does anybody else struggle with having their kids like art on the fridge? Like I love it so much, but it also just always looks kind of messy. I don't know. But I think that is it for right now. I'm going to drink my coffee and um, edit the tutorial. And then birthday party time. Good morning, happy Monday. We're like zoomed in because I don't have my little holder. Um, and this camera just like, the video zoom is real close. Um, I think where I left off yesterday was like that little haul and saying that I was going to the birthday party. I didn't record there because I mean, it's not my family and I don't want people to like feel weird because I'm walking around with the camera, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we just went to the birthday party and came home relaxed. So it's Monday, it's another week of shooting and being super busy. The kids had their first day of school this morning and like real talk, I'm gonna come down here so I can like rest my arms. Real talk, if you have like shared custody of your kids, it's hard. Like it's really hard for me. Today was really hard. I've just always been the one that like gets them ready for the first day of school and stuff. So it's just hard, but I got to like go see them before they went into school. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, starting a new week. <laughs> Promise we're going to start it on a high note. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave the vlog here and kind of pick back up when I have something exciting <laughs> besides work. So love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.